Hello, and thank you very much for being my substitute teacher. I really, really appreciate it. I don't know what I might be doing today. Maybe I have an appointment, maybe I'm sick, but anyhow, I'm really glad that you're here. It's a fairly easy class to manage from a substitute point of view. The students are really focused on self-directed learning in this class, so there's no lecture that you need to give them on a certain subject or material that they have. Let me just put this over my shoulder right here. Uh, written on the wall here is the sign that says uh, mytech2s.com. Let me get that out of the light there. That's where they go to. Okay, so they go to mytech2s.com. All their lessons are there, all the video tutorials, the step-by-step. -step. If a student gets stuck on something, you can just ask them to review the tutorial videos again. Sometimes they like to try to take a shortcut and just skip over that uh, because I'm in the room and I can usually give them a little bit of a help but everything's on that website that will walk them, them through everything. How to, how to make an animation, how to program a robot, how to record a song in the studio. It's all on that website and they just need to trust the website. So that's kind of pointer number one for substituting my class. And I guess pointer number two is that mostly I manage a lot of rechargeable devices. So let me just come over here. You can see I've got uh, the iPads right here. This is the beginning of the day. So they're, they, they're all in the charger. At the end of the day, you just put them in here. They're all numbered. They're, they have a certain spot for each one. There's also some over here that, that really they can go anywhere. They're not numbered, but just make sure that they're returned to the charger at the end of the day. So when you start the day, you just come in here and I'm gonna grab number five here. So you grab the iPad, number five, and you just go and put it at the desk that it belongs. Okay, so here's the room, and you can see here, this is desk 16, and you can see that takes iPad 14. I know the numbers don't add up. Add up. Here's uh, desk 15, that takes iPad uh, number 12, and you just find the one that matches up. This one's number 6, so we're getting closer, and here's the one that says iPad number 5, and then you leave that iPad there for the student. And that will stay there all day. And so basically you go and you take all these iPads and you distribute them to the different spots that are kind of all around the different rooms. There's, there's one over here, there's a few in Studio uh, B over there, and then of course there's some in the ex uh, other uh, auxiliary classroom. And then at the end of the day, you just reverse all that. You gather up all the iPads, you put them in that little charger right over there behind my shoulder, and you make sure that they're charged up for the next day. Okay, everything else, the students usually know how to take care of everything. A couple of things you might want to be curious about. In my standing desk here, that's where I keep the remotes for everything. The projector, the air conditioning, the TVs, everything is there. Um, in Studio B here, there are a lot of lights that need to get turned on. So you just, everything with the blue tag on it, just keep turning them on. And now... Studio B is all well lit, easy peasy. And then into here, this is Studio C, and there's just a one switch right here. And that turns on, on this room here. So, Okay, so that takes care of all the kind of the logistical things on how to operate the classroom. And then like I said, they should be able to take care of themselves or help one another uh, if someone, uh, you might just ask, does anybody have experience with this robot problem? And someone usually has already done it before them and they can usually help out in that way. But it all should run smoothly. And again, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for uh, taking care of my students.